Okay, so the next question is, I'll have a clean slate for land, so where do I begin? Well, um, you've got two options. Um, I guess it's a good time for me to plug our Passive Solar Greenhouse course. We do have a Passive Solar Greenhouse course coming up, and I will be notifying everybody on our list about this uh, in the next month. Um, so if you want to start from scratch, um, that's a good place to start. Uh, but basically, uh, if you're familiar with permaculture and you're looking for a good place to site a greenhouse, greenhouses need a lot of attention. So you want to you want to bring it in close to your center of energy. You don't want it to be too far away from from where you're actively working. So pretty close to your house. Um, again, you want to make sure it's oriented to south or slightly to the east. Um, and then you got to have to figure out what your dimensions are going to be. And so with a passive solar greenhouse. Um, we typically will start with the aspect ratio. So the aspect ratio is essentially how wide and deep the greenhouse is. So my greenhouse itself is, um, I'll just show you the, my greenhouse itself is 10 feet uh, deep by 20 feet long. So you'll notice that um, two to one aspect ratio basically means it's twice as long as it is wide which is why we say two to one. So the first thing you have to decide is the aspect ratio of the actual greenhouse itself. Once you've got that aspect ratio determined, then you actually have to go in and figure out what the cross section is gonna look like. And so like we showed you guys earlier, the cross section for our current greenhouse looks like this. Something along those lines. Um, you can also use a cross section that looks like this. almost a shed style roof with a vent wall in the front. Um, and so then once you have your aspect ratio and you have your cross section, then from there you can figure out what the three dimensional shape is going to look like. And once you've got the three dimensional shape, then you can start to specify things like insulation, where doors are gonna go, where vent walls are gonna go, in the front, what type of glazing material to use, how you're gonna support that glazing, what kind of trusses, um, and all of those finer little details. But the first thing is figuring out where you're gonna site the greenhouse itself. Hey, you're probably already subscribed, but if you're not, click on the subscribe button below and I will make sure to keep you up to date with the most recent permaculture information and education.